guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this video for you guys today. And it is something that I get asked quite frequently in person, in social media, and it's things about my hair, hair care routine, how to grow their hair longer, and what tools I use for my hair. I'm gonna give you guys the whole lowdown in the video of how I keep up with my hair, um, tips and tricks for growing out your hair and having it be the healthiest that it possibly can be and what tools I use to curl my hair or style my hair. Okay, so my first tip is washing hair. I know a lot of people say, I have oily hair, I have to wash my hair every single day. And guess what? No, you don't. It's actually better for you not to wash it every single day. It's healthier. Your natural oils are super healthy for your hair, so it's really good to let those natural oils go onto your hair and brushing them into the ends of your hair. So I wash my hair about three to four days. When I do intense workouts, it's every two to three days um, because just because I feel like it can get a little gritty after that point, get a good dry shampoo and it will save your life. I will tell you all about my dry shampoo when I talk about the products I use, but I'm telling you, everyone can do it. And once you find a good one, trust me, you will be so happy that you found a good dry shampoo. It will save your hair so much damage. Tip number two is to see a good hairstylist. So many times I will find somebody or talk to somebody and they'll say, I really wanted to go ombre or do the balayage. I think that's how you say it, balayage. And they messed up my hair. And that's pretty common if you don't know how to know your limits as a hairstylist. I can say this because I went to cosmetology school for a little bit. I'm a beauty school dropout, yes I know, but I can say this because you can't take a black hair all the way to this overnight. Like it's not going to happen. This was a process. This did not happen in one time, it didn't happen in two times, and it didn't happen in three times. It takes time, I promise you. Find a good hairstylist, talk to them, show them what you want to look like at the end but trust in their process and trust in their craft. I told my hairstylist that and I loved that she was like, listen, if I can get you there, I will, but trust me, I'm not gonna damage your hair by getting you there. And that made me feel so much more confident in her because we were on the same page. I wanted this hairstyle. I wanted to be more blonde and stuff like that for the summer, but I definitely didn't wanna pay the price and having my hair be, end up having to chop it off like to my shoulders because it was just breaking all the way up. But find somebody that's a good hairstylist who is gonna treat your hair like gold. And I think if you do that, you'll be okay to bleach your hair and do stuff like that. They're gonna give you their best recommendations for products, um, for styling your hair and different things like that. So look for a good hairstylist. Tip number three kind of coincides with tip number one. Try not to use as much heat as possible on your hair because it's so important, especially if you have more like Spanish hair if like mine, like more kinky, more naturally prone to frizz. Um, you just want to straighten it, straighten it, straighten it out to get rid of that frizz. Trust me, try not to use as much heat as possible. Um, if you can just do touch-ups in certain areas and not the whole hair, do that. Trust me, it will save your hair so much damage, especially on the ends. Be super, super careful on the ends. Try not to crank up your straightener or your curling iron all the way up to the highest setting because you will get so much damage. Also, the same thing with your blow dryer. Try to use it on medium heat. If you're gonna blow dry your hair, use it on medium heat. There's no need, even though I have the frizziest hair, there's no need for me to put it on high heat. You have to have like super, super curly, 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 curly hair. Um, and super hard to straighten. That would be the only way I would say to put it on a high heat. Other than that, you can really calm it down on the heat and you will save like all the split ends from breaking and everything like that. I just highly recommend to use the less heat as possible and your hair is just gonna grow and it's not gonna have split ends. And once you get one split end, it's almost like a trickling effect. It starts breaking and breaking and breaking and going higher. So you almost have to get on top of that as much as you can before it starts breaking. All right, so now I wanna get into the products that I use that I feel like help keep my hair the healthiest it's ever been right now. I've never seen my hair this healthy and I haven't been to the stylist since Christmas time. So it's been about four months now. So I definitely recommend 
using good products. Don't skimp on your products and try to use cheaper products. Sometimes cheap products are good, but sometimes it's best just to really invest in your hair. And I hear you whenever you're like, I don't wanna spend that much money on that, but in order to have good hair, you almost have to invest into your hair. So the shampoo that I use and recommend highly is Redken. I really, really love their color care one for the shampoo. I feel like for a shampoo, you really wanna get something that if you have color or bleached hair, is really safe on that, just because you don't want your color to fade and you don't want it to get funky, like little undertones and pull different colors and stuff. So I highly recommend this one. I highly recommend the big ones. They last for like six months for me. Um, I use the Color Extend Magnetics Sulfate Free Shampoo and I love it. It keeps my hair color really, really nice. I also use the Diamond Oil Glow Dry for the conditioner. I was using the matching one as a conditioner for this one, but I felt like I needed more moisture in my hair. And this one definitely gives me more like a healthy like moisture in my hair so I really 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 like this one okay so right after I get out of the shower the first thing I do is use this Pureology perfect for platinum miracle filler treatment it's like less than halfway it's almost a third of the way I got this back in I want to say last June so it's lasted me quite a bit actually and I use it every single time I wash my hair I would just spray it on evenly all throughout, really specifically concentrating it on the ends. I never put product up at the root because your hair will get super, super oily. So yeah, it just adds a little bit more protein in there so that way your hair doesn't break. It was highly recommended by my stylist. She said she couldn't live without this product. She always needed to have it. And it's definitely a must for people who bleach their hair, she said so. So the other thing that I don't have on me is a deep repair mask. and. I really recommend doing a deep repair mask every other wash or if you can't every wash. It can get a little pricey if you do do it every wash, but your hair will be so healthy if you do. Cuz I like I said I only do it every 3 to 4 days my hair wash. So when I was using a hair mask every time, it was like on fire my hair. So, I highly recommend using the Macadamia hair mask which is a deep repair i don't have it with me because i've ran out of it i do need to purchase some more but i highly recommend that mask over any other mask on the market because i see results with that mask and that's what i want i want a mask to not be a filler but to give me actual results and that mask when you use it i promise you you will see results i recommended it to a few people and they loved this product so much they said that they saw a difference after the first use so the next product i use after i use that um purology spray is a hair protectant heat spray so <laughs> i don't know how i feel about this redken one it's pillow proof and it's supposed to almost be like a primer for your hair and I, that really interested me the first time I seen that because I was like, I need a primer for my face. It makes sense to have a primer for your hair, you know? But I feel almost like this gives my hair a little bit of a tacky texture to it if I don't like really, really shake it up well. But it does really work and gets the job done. I've had this for a few months, but I've only used a little bit of amount because I don't use this every time because... Like I said, I feel kind of like I get that texture if I don't shake it up well. But I don't know if I just got a weird batch or not, but I did pay a good penny for it, so I do try to still use it. Um, one that has never let me down from the drugstore, which I don't know why I thought I could go a little bit bougie and get the Redken one, is the Tresemme Thermal Creations. I've used this for years and years, and it's always, always come through for me. The spray nozzle is great. It's better than the Redken one. I just love it so much, so I really highly recommend using a heat protectant spray. It's gonna save you from like damage on your hair whenever you use hot tools. So in order to give some shine back to your hair, I definitely recommend using an oil. Just try investing in a good oil because oils will last you a super duper duper long time, so you don't have to worry about having to repurchase it that often. I have had this Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum for about a year now, and I've only hit about a third of the way there and I use it every time I do my hair as well just on the ends just to give back some shine to it in case it's looking a little dull. I just take the tiniest amount smaller than a dime and I promise you it's almost like a pea size 
and I promise you it makes the world of difference and gives my hair so much shine again. It's not going to be something that's going to repair your hair. It's just going to be a temporary fix just so it looks more shinier. So don't think you're getting super crazy benefits by using this, but you are going to get some like really pretty shine in your hair and it's going to look super healthy. So if you are skipping your hair in between washes and you say that you have so much oily hair that you can't do it, it is possible if you get a good dry shampoo, trust me. I've known a lot of people who say that and I have converted them to being dry shampoo fanatics because it is super important to use dry shampoo. It will save you from having to restyle and restyle every time. When I was in beauty school, I didn't even know about dry shampoo because it, I don't even think it was big back then, but I used to blow out my hair every single day and straighten it and curl it and do all these things to it and I got so much damage. I had to chop off my hair a good amount just because of the damage. But if I would have known about dry shampoo back then, I would have really been able to save my hair. One of my favorites right now, and it is so bougie, like I'm so embarrassed to even talk about this dry shampoo, but I love it so much. It is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black um, Dry Shampoo. And I purchased this with a gift card back around my birthday time because for the longest time, I had been using the little mini travel size for months, and that one lasted forever. So when I got a gift card for my birthday, which was almost nine months ago, I decided to splurge and get myself this dry shampoo that was 30 bucks um, because I knew I really, really loved it. It really made my hair smell great. Everyone would always compliment my hair whenever I would put this in. They would be like, wow, your hair smells so great. And I'm like, what? I haven't even washed it. Like... But they would really compliment my hair when I would put this in. So I figured I would just splurge on it. And it's already been about nine months and I still have so much product left. I don't need as much of the product in this as I would in like Batiste dry shampoo. I almost forgot about these hair products. I swear by them because they've really been game changers. This is the Living Proof Humidity Shield. And my cousin was the one that introduced me to this and it is so so good. One day when um, it was in the middle of the summertime, we went to Sephora. She was like, try it out. It's so good. Um, you're going to really, really like it. So I sprayed it on there in Sephora and it was pouring cats and dogs out. I promise you that day. And my hair actually, I was impressed because it didn't look as poofy as it normally would. It actually stayed pretty nice. So I was like, I need to get me the full size of this. The other hairspray that I swear by and have been using since I have probably been in middle school, I've switched to other hairsprays and none compared to this hairspray. So I need to not fix what's not broken because it's so good that I'm like, why, why am I looking for something else better? It is the Tresemme, the level three. I don't like it to be like crunchy. I just want it to hold really, really nicely. And I do feel like that gives me the best hold and control without getting my hair frizzy or anything like that keeps my curls intact for most of the day as long as possible so yeah i just think it's a good affordable hairspray that everyone would love okay so the tools that i highly recommend are really really going to help your hair out a lot and i think all of these things in combination help your hair out a lot so the first tool that i use when i get out of the shower is my wet brush I highly recommend the wet brush because I just think it saves on like tearing and ripping your hair so much more than if you use a regular brush. I used to use a regular brush for years and I used to lose so much hair. I still lose hair all the time because I have so much of it, but I just find that this doesn't break. It doesn't pull as hard. It's really gentle on my hair and it's just really, really nice and it's affordable and cheap. You can get these anywhere for like less than $10. I've seen them at Marshalls for $6 with this other product that I'm going to mention. The other day when I was in Marshalls, I had seen the little Turby Twist. It wasn't the actual Turby Twist brand because this is the brand that I just happened to pick up that was at Sally's, but they all do the same thing and it is a microfiber towel and it just ties up and then it has this little elastic part and you just clip it through. I put this in my hair because I heard somewhere that microfiber towel um, produces less frizz and stuff like that so whenever you get out of the shower and use a microfiber towel it's going to really um, prevent more frizz from happening. I need all of that because I have so much frizz so I definitely recommend getting something like this a microfiber towel to put your hair up. And So now I'm going to talk about all of my heat tools that I use. 
Um, you'd be surprised, you would think that I probably use these super crazy expensive heat tools, but I really don't. I don't think it's necessary for me. I have had these tools for many, many years whenever I was back, um, just fresh out of high school, balling on a budget, so I could not afford some of these higher end expensive brands. So I've kind of stuck by them. They're tried and true. Why fix what's not broken? So the first thing I want to talk about is my curling iron, and it is from Con Air. It's actually a hand-me-down. I didn't even buy this. It was a hand-me-down for my stepmom who got it from a friend who actually didn't like it. But I love it. I think it's amazing. So whenever I blow dry my hair, I will straighten the top part of it and then I will curl the ends with this the first day that I have fresh hair. I find when I do this method, my hair remains frizz-free the whole week. Like no matter how much humidity is in the air, it is crazy how good this stays in. I honestly don't even know how big of a barrel it is because again, I didn't purchase it and I really don't know. So I can't help you on that, but it is the Conair Xfinity. No, it's the Infinity by Conair. The other one that I have is one that I purchased from Target and it is called the Remington. And it's just a wand like this. It goes smaller and then it gets bigger here at the bottom. So a lot of people ask me how I will curl my hair with a wand. You wanna always hold your hair like this and wrap it around and then let it loose with the wand. Um, it's super easy and I can do my hair in like five minutes with this if I've already gotten it pretty much straight and everything like that from the day previous and I just use dry shampoo. So that's why it's important to kind of do all these steps because whenever I go to style my hair later on the week, I don't have time, I'm going to work, I'm quick, I need something that's gonna be fast and easy and not a lot of maintenance. So I definitely like to start the week off with the bigger curls then I'll end the week off with the curling on wand so that way it's a little bit more tighter and it's still going to remain um, frizz free because I followed all of those steps before. So my straightener that I recently got for, I believe it was my birthday, my mother-in-law and father-in-law got it for me because I love it. It is a Babyless Pro Prima 3000. It does stay like this if you clip it down and you can do curls with it. I cannot for the life of me figure that out. So I just use it as a straightener. These ends get hot so you could do it like that but I ain't that fancy so I don't really know how to do that. I have so many hair products all on my bed right now. It's crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys. Um, I'm just giving you guys my tips and tricks. If you guys would love to see a hair routine, um, how I style my hair and curl it with the wand. I would definitely want to do an updated one if that's something you guys are interested in. If not, I believe I have like an old one for like how to style um, second or third day hair with a wand. So um, if you want to check out my channel, it's probably one of the first few ones, first few videos that I have on my YouTube channel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for being patient with me throughout this whole video. I feel like I talked so much. I'm like, I need water right now. Like, I'm like, Ugh. But <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and take care. Bye.